It used to be that the Chevrolet Tahoe and vehicles alike were the prime choice among suburban families, now replaced by less expensive, more fuel efficient crossovers. That's not to say that there isn't anybody who still buys these large beasts. In fact, the Chevrolet Tahoe just had its best year last year since 2007, selling nearly 100,000 units. So let's go ahead and check out this 2016 Chevrolet Tahoe LT with the Z71 off-road package. Now for the 2016 model year, not much has changed except that there is now a driver alert package that features power adjustable pedals for collision alert. Our Tahoe we do have here has that package. And then it now has available heads up display and then a new standard 8 inch diagonal color touch and then a connected radio with OnStar 4G LTE Wi-Fi. And then also you do have the enhanced Chevrolet MyLink with phone integration technology featuring the new Apple CarPlay system. So there's many new features for the 2016 model year for the Tahoe. Now I love the styling on the Tahoe because it has handsome, bold, truck-like styling that you won't find on many SUVs nowadays. It's kind of rare to find that. And on higher end trim levels of the Tahoe, you do get high intensity discharge headlights and LED daytime running lights, which are some premium lighting features. Now here goes the key fob design for the vehicle. Fairly high quality looking key fob design. You have your lock, unlock, your remote engine start, and then to release your power tailgate and then your panic button. Now our Tahoe we also do have here has the Z71 off-road package which comes with a lot of things. The main three features that it comes with is these 18 inch painted aluminum wheels. It also comes with the assist steps and the Z71 suspension. It also gets rid of the front air dam that you will find on many other Tahoes that don't have the Z71 package. Overall I love the look of the Z71 package. I think it looks very handsome and very rugged too. Now it is the slate gray metallic exterior color with smart key access on all four doors. We also do have these running boards right here. Z71 door seals. And then you also do have a full-on gray leather interior. Power driver seat with power recline and power lumbar too. Now the step in height for the Tahoe is fairly high, but that's to be expected when you buy a full size body on frame SUV. But you're greeted at least with a very stylish and very high quality looking cabin design. Now you do have push button ignition, just put your foot on the brake and hit the button to start. And what you're hearing there is a 5.3 liter V8, full leather wrapped steering wheel. Now coming to your transmission you have an old school style 6 speed column mounted automatic transmission. You also do have manual shiftability and a tow and haul mode. Putting the vehicle into reverse reveals your rear view camera with guidance lines. You also do have trajectory and rear parking sensors. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the lights and the hazards too. Automatic driver's side window. Let's go ahead and pop up the hood, check out the engine bay. Heated exterior mirrors with LED turn signal indicators. You also do have blind spot detection. Eighteen inch painted aluminum wheels. Halogen projector beam headlights. 
with LED daytime running lights, front parking sensors, and halogen fog lights. Now under the hood here you have the famous 5.3 liter V8 that produces 355 horsepower at 5600 RPM and 383 pound-feet of torque at 4100 RPM with EPA estimates being an okay 16 in the city and 22 on the highway. That's actually not that bad for how big this vehicle is. Now it does provide pretty strong V8 power and pretty strong acceleration with the maximum towing capacity being 8,500 pounds. The six-speed automatic transmission transmits power through the rear wheels on two-wheel drive models, but on this four-wheel drive model we have here, it transmits power through all four wheels. Total vehicle price is $63,905. EPA estimates, like I said, are 16 in the city and 22 on the highway. You have a roof rack on the top with crossbars. Rear parking sensors, rear window defroster, and an LED third brake light. All of your basic power amenities, power windows, power mirrors, and power folding exterior mirrors. And then your power door locks too. Memory seat settings for two people and chrome interior door handles. Now in years past, the Tahoe hasn't had always the best build quality and materials. Many of the interior trim and pieces didn't fit very well together and many of the plastics were very hard and cheap. But this is a much more different story here and it's significantly improved with this generation Tahoe. You have really nice soft touch materials up here on the upper door panel, mid door panel, and the armrest. Feels very expensive. On the dashboard, it's also a nice soft touch padded material. And then you also do have this really nice stitching. The interior just feels very high quality and it feels pretty expensive inside of here. Now also, the build quality is pretty excellent. Not many of the interior trim and pieces creak a whole lot, especially how it did in years past. And many of the trim pieces do fit very well together. Overall, very impressed. Build quality and materials are excellent on this Tahoe. Now I really do love the interior layout and the design of it. It's functional yet very stylish too, especially with the two-toned gray and the black and then you have this like wood grain trim right here. Very nicely done. Now coming to the stairwell, I really do love the stairwells on newer Chevrolets here. They're pretty stylish looking but yet simple looking too. I really do love them and as I love how it's not cluttered with buttons. You have your heated stairwell right here. Nice little added luxury touch and then you have your collision alert your cruise control buttons, and then your voice recognition, Bluetooth phone controls, and your steering wheel mounted audio controls. We also do have a power tilting and telescoping steering wheel with an okay range of adjustment. I would like a little bit more adjustment for the tilting, however. Now coming up here, we also do have your auto dimming rearview mirror with OnStar interior illumination lighting, which are LEDs, your garage home link, and then you have your sunglass container with the conversation mirror if you want to look at the kids back there and talk to them. Then you have your sunroof with your sunroof controls. Very nicely done. Down here we also do have heated seats and then 
a 12 volt power outlet and two USB charging ports and then we have dual cup holders right here and then your center console it is huge and it's nice and soft touch with nice stitching but right here is where you will find a wireless charging pad which is a nice little added touch too and then down here you have your center console very large center console here like I said this interior is very functional and then you have two USB ports right there and then another 12 volt power outlet and then I love how it's lit by LEDs now coming to your gauges I do love the gauges and in the instrumentation here and I really do love how they put the Z71 logo to always remind you that you have the Z71 off-road package which is pretty cool um, right here we have your tachometer and then your speedometer is right there. We have full instrumentation for the gauges as well. Coming to that little center screen right there, basically it shows you much vehicle information and it's all controlled by these set of buttons right here. And basically you could change different settings for the little information display like the units if you want it in US or the metric system and then you have your speed warning you can set a speed warning if you would like which is pretty cool info pages coming to navigation that shows you turn by turn direction and then it, you have an integrated compass too phone you can hook up your bluetooth phone and answer and hang up calls coming to your audio you can change your different audio source from here as well as a different radio station shows you what song is playing and what radio station is playing pretty cool then you have your info and it shows you much vehicle information such as the fuel economy your tire pressure monitoring oil life percentage fuel range trip odometer and you also do have a digital spinometer which is pretty cool Overall, I love this little color information display here. Pretty useful and very easy to use. And I love the graphics and the rendering behind it. Now, coming to your AC controls, I love how simple and clean it looks with big knobs and buttons. It's very user-friendly. Now, we do have dual-zone automatic climate control. Your temperatures are right here. Here's for the driver and here's for the passenger. And then you have your fan speeds right here. Rear window defroster, front window defroster, and your different zones. Simple as that. And then your recycling mode is right there too. Coming down here to this lower section, we have your rear climate. And then you have your fan speeds that you could change for the rear climate. And then as well as the temperatures and the zones. Very nicely done. And I love how simple and easy to use this whole system is. Now let's get to the main infotainment system here. It's the Chevrolet MyLink system. We've seen this many times here before. It was introduced to the Chevrolet lineup just a few years ago. And it's been slightly updated for the 2016 model year for the Tahoe. And it has enhanced phone integration as well as the addition of the Apple CarPlay system. Now, I really do love the MyLink system for its lightning quick responsiveness. Now coming to your audio, your different audio sources do does include your auxiliary input, Bluetooth streaming audio, as well as your USB ports with your iPod integration. You also do have your radio, AM, FM, XM satellite radio, all of the normal stuff here. Right here we have your presets too, then you have your tune and your seek and track button. Now coming back to home, that pretty much reveals everything. We also do have a Pandora, which you have to access through your smartphone data connection. That's also a different audio source. Now coming to your settings over here, you have your time and date, language, valet mode, many different settings you can change here. Let's go to the Apple CarPlay. You can manage your Apple CarPlay devices. You can turn it on or off if you would like. And then your voice settings, rear camera settings, display settings like the brightness, contrast, all that good stuff. Your vehicle settings like the climate and air quality comfort and convenience, light, lighting, many different settings you could change here. Now coming to your phone, you can hook up your Bluetooth phone, have an integrated keypad, view your recent calls, uh, you have your contact stored on here, pretty cool, and then you can view your voicemail too. Coming to weather, gives your forecast, five day forecast, and then you can search up a location where you would like to view the weather 
pretty cool. And then you have your hourly. Now coming to projection, that's actually a new feature. But to use that feature, you have to have a connected supported device to a USB port. Now coming to video, that's for your DVD. We also do have a rear entertainment system in this bad boy. Now coming to the navigation, we've seen this navigation system many times here before. Nothing has really changed a whole lot. But it works pretty well, it does what it needs to do. The rendering and the graphics are okay. You can enter in the destination by voice or you can do it by the touch screen here. We also do have live traffic, of course. You can uh, display your places of interest, those icons if you want it on or off. Pretty cool. Then you have your text messaging function. But you have to have a phone connected, of course. You can view your messages, OnStar. And then you have your traffic right here, which shows you any accidents or anything like that. Overall, really do love the Chevrolet MyLink system here. And it's pretty simple and easy to use. And I love the lightning quick responsiveness. At all times, the uh, digital clock will display up in the upper right hand corner. And then you have your exterior temperature readout up there too. And then right here, if you want to impress your friends, you can open that up, which reveals a USB port with a little storage cubby. Very nice. And then if you want to go quick straight to the home page, then you click on this home button right here. Or if you want to go straight to the radio, press on this radio button. And then you have your seek and track button right here too. And then you have your optical disk drive, which is right there. Coming over here, we have your traction control off button, your parking sensors button, hill descent control, and then your lane keep assist, and then your power adjustable pedals. Right here, we have your four-wheel drive select. And then you also do have a locking rear differential, too. Now, as far as visibility goes inside of the Tahoe, it's excellent. Lots of glass area all around. Outward visibility is okay, too. But it really does help that a rear-view camera does come standard on every trim for the Tahoe. The seats are also really comfortable, very nice and supportive. Decent amount of side bolstering. I would like a little bit more thigh support, but can't complain too much here. It is a little bit on the firm side, I have to say. But overall, it's pretty nice and comfy. Now driving the Tahoe, the Tahoe is actually fairly easy to drive. However, this car is very large and can be pretty big in some parking spaces. Now handling on the Tahoe isn't the Tahoe's expertise but it can feel numb at times and it does offer a decent amount of driver feedback and engagement and it's much better than how it was in years past but overall the handling isn't too bad especially for a full-size SUV as far as the ride goes the ride is certainly the best part about driving the Tahoe it's very comfortable very compliant especially with the magnetic ride control and it's a very quiet highway ride too but if you're looking for the most comfortable ride I would certainly go with the magnetic ride control and if you don't get the magnetic ride control the ride can be a little bit truck like at times but it's not too bad alright and let's go ahead and shut down the Tahoe let's go ahead and check out the rest of the vehicle do have a power tailgate now one thing I don't like about the Tahoe is how high the load floor is. It's very high. You have a little storage compartment right there. But you do have power folding third row seats, which is nice. And then you can fold down the second row seats by the push of a button too. Which is pretty cool. Very easy to do, to fold down the seats. Cargo space isn't too bad. Build quality and materials are also excellent in the rear. Nice and soft touch on the upper door panel, mid door panel, and the armrest. These second row seats also do recline, which is nice. Those running boards do help quite a lot when getting in and out of the Tahoe. Now back here, it is a very comfortable experience. 
we do have dual mat pockets, a 12 volt power outlet, and a full house charging port. You also do have a little storage compartment down there and a USB charging port, SD card slot, heated rear seats, and your temperature controls for your AC and then your fan speeds too. Very nice. The seats themselves are firm, however they're fairly comfortable. Headroom, I have lots of it and legroom is okay too. We also do have a rear entertainment system, which is nice, DVD. And then your LED map lights are back here. Very comfortable experience back here in the Tahoe. All right. Now to get into the third row, it's pretty easy to do. Just pull up on this lever and then pull up on the tab and just push the seat forward. I also forgot to mention that you do have a rear center armrest with cup holders for the second row. Now back here in the third row, it's certainly only recommended for kids or small children. It's very cramped back here. There is lots of headroom, but not a whole lot of leg room. And my knees are like all the way up to my chest. But if you do want more room for the third row, I suggest looking at Chevrolet's own Suburban, which has more cargo space as well as more room for the third row. And then also the Chevrolet Traverse, which has a very roomy third row. But that's not a body on frame SUV like this one. All right, and you also do have a cup holder right here, but very cramped back here. Don't recommend for adults. Powered passenger seat with power recline and power lumbar. Glove box compartment's also located right here. Nice and damp. Alrighty. So with the strong V8 power, impressive interior quality, and it's very smooth and comfortable ride, the 2016 Chevrolet Tahoe is an excellent choice for a full-size SUV and is certainly one of the best in the class. So remember that this is Cameron Birch from Cameron's Car Reviews.